Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The topic uh, for discussion of MCQs is homeostasis today. Let's move to the question number one. Which of the following system is not essentially required for homeostasis in an individual? All systems of our body, they are basically homeostatic in functions, but a reproductive system is required for maintenance of a species. So Delta is the right option that all of the systems are involved in home, maintaining homeostatic functions in various aspects, but reproductive system is not essential for the survival of an individual. Central function of the liver is a homeostasis. Obviously, it performs a variety of functions, but uh, overall, it is concerned with homeostasis, homeostasis mainly. Which of the following statement about homeostasis is incorrect? There is a definite control system that regulates the homeostatic activities. It's a right statement, so it, it should not be the answer. Homeostatic mechanisms keep the internal environment fixed. No, they do not maintain a fixed environment. They maintain a, uh, an internal environment within a narrow range. Because of this, the fluctuations of the internal environment are extremely narrow. Yes, they are. And most of the homeostatic functions, they are negatively regulated. Yes, it happens. So beta is the right answer because it's a wrong statement with reference to homeostatic mechanisms. In a hot summer afternoon, if your body's homeostatic machinery keep your internal temperature quite lower than that of external, then this is an example of negative feedback mechanism. So beta is the right answer. In a negative feedback mechanism, the output cancels the input there is self-regulation and a regulatory center communicates with other body parts. It also happens the positive feedback mechanism. But the output cancels the input is a negative uh, statement. All these uh, actions or self-regulation, they are actually uh, involved in negative feedback mechanism. So delta is the right option. In human kidneys, the single duct in which distal convoluted tubules open is called collecting duct. Collecting duct share openings from many nephrons. Number seven, which of the following is most toxic? Smaller is the size, more is the diffusion and penetration and more is the toxicity. So ammonia is most toxic out of the other nitrogenous waste in the list. So right option is alpha. Which of the vascular channels are related to juxta medullary nephrons only? We know juxta medullary nephron, they are covered by vesa recta. So delta is the right option. And nephrons, they are having longer loops with a surrounding blood supply known as vesa recta. In animals, an excess of nitrogen is excreted primarily in the form of ammonia because most of the animals, invertebrates, aquatic animals, aquatic life forms, they excrete ammonia as a major waste product. When tracing the path of blood, the blood vessels that follows the renal artery is afferent arteriole, which leads to the glomerulus from a renal artery. There are so many other branches as well, but the major one in the list that a renal artery divides into arcuate interlobular arteries, which ultimately forms afferent arteriole, which leads to the glomerulus. Number 11, by what process are most molecules secreted from the blood into the convoluted tubule? It is called active transport or actively they are secreted out of the blood into the lumen of nephron, such as hydrogen ions. The renal medulla has a stripped appearance due to the presence of which structures? Stripped appearance of renal medulla is due to collecting duct as well as peritubular capillaries. So delta is the right answer. If a drug inhibits the kidneys ability to reabsorb bicarbonate, so the bicarbonate is excreted in the urine, the blood will become more acidic by the release of bicarbonate ions, by the loss of bicarbonate ions. Which of the following filtrate contains an excessive amount of amino acid, glucose and salts? Obviously, they are abundantly present in glomerular filtrate in PCT, whereas uh, the glomerular filtrate moves down the nephron lumen. Uh, some of the substances, majority of the substances, actually, they are absorbed along the length of nephrons. So alpha is the right answer. 
which of these causes blood pressure to decrease? All of these they are involved in increasing blood pressure. So delta, renin, an antidiuretic hormone as well as aldosterone, normal in human glucose. It uh, is always in the filtrate and urine. No, it's always in the filtrate, but uh, with little or sometimes none in the urine. So beta seems the best option. A stone measuring 0.4 centimeter blocking the outlet of renal pelvis, resulting in mild to moderate tract obstruction. Which of the following technique will be opted to remove this stone? Usually, the technique which is used to re remove the stones from kidney or urinary tract, it's extra carporeal shock wave lithotripsy. So Charlie, here's uh, the instruments shown uh, with reference to the lithotripsy. Excretion of a hypertonic urine in humans is associated best with the collecting duct as well as loop of Henle, but the collecting duct is a better option. So delta. Which of the following process in nephron is least selective? It's filtration because most of the substances, they move into the nephron without a specific selection. But tubular secretion is highly selective process out of these and least selective is filtration. Number 20, which of the following mechanism explains the development of anemia in renal failure? Because failure of proper red blood cell, uh, cell synthesis due to the lack of chemical stimulation from the glomerular part of the kidney, which produces and produces a hormone erythropoietin. Erythropoietin is a hormone which is released by the kidneys and is involved in the stimulation of red blood cells production. So that's why it's associated with the anemia that renal failure can lead to the deficiency of blood cells, which of the following treatment will be administered first in a newly diagnosed renal failure it's hemodialysis and other treatments may be, be given later on, but hemodialysis is the first available treatment. Brown fat present in certain mammals is specialized in rapid heat production because it is rich in iron. That's why the characteristic brown color is due to actually iron or cytochrome enzymes, which are involved in rapid oxidation of substances and thus rapid uh, release of energy as well. So Charlie, number 23, a viral infection that specifically interferes with the reabsorption of ions from the glomerular filtrate would attack cells located in the renal tubules because the reabsorption occurs over there. Diuretics are the drugs that can use to treat high blood pressure by increasing urinary output. Possible mechanisms of action in the kidney include, it includes a Increasing permeability of the collecting duct by which more water will be reabsorbed. So it must be decreasing permeability instead of increasing. I have changed the statement over here. Decreasing permeability of the collecting duct. Because uh, if the permeability of the collecting duct is decreased, less water will be absorbed back to the blood and more urinary output will be there in the production of more urine. So right option is Charlie, but instead of increasing, we are changing the word over there, decreasing permeability of the collecting duct, decreasing reabsorption of the water and promoting its loss. When a human being is cold, the superficial blood vessels, obviously they will uh, constrict and the sweat glands they are inactive to reduce the heat exchange, so L beta. Human excrete their excess nitrogenous waste mainly as urea, but other nitrogenous waste are also there in the urine. Caffeine inhibits the secretion of ADH. Prior to an exam, you have large coffee, it means you are inhibiting the release of ADH and inhibiting the water reabsorption. During the exam, you can expect less water reabsorption from the collecting duct due to more ADH, due to uh, less ADH over there. So more urine production, less water reabsorption from the collecting duct. So beta seems a, a better option over here. 
it must be a less watery absorption from the collecting duct because you are taking more idiots and uh, so you are taking more coffee which inhibits the secretion of adh and inhibition of adh will cause less watery absorption from the collecting duct and more urine production so beta is the right option in addition to urine formation nephrons help in maintaining electrolyte balance by secretion as well as reabsorption of the ions so charlie most of the salt absorption occurs in pct or proximal convoluted tubule and hormonal reabsorption of salts it takes place only in the ascending limb in the loop of henle here are some questions from 2018 19 and 20 past papers keeping a uh, correct balance of ions and water in the body is called osmoregulation and when filtration is completed the waste products through distal tube of nephron empties into the collecting duct or collecting tubule so beta is the right option it was the question from 2018 another question from 2018 paper the capillaries of glomerulus rejoin to form efferent arteriole which exits out leads out of the glomerulus efferent is the arrival point and efferent is the exiting point urea cycle is the detoxification of ammonia so delta uhs 2019 question uh, question number 1 was substances responsible for increasing the set point of hypothalamus they are known as pyrogens and given below is the diagram of nephron without vascular supply what is the name of part c it is distal tubule so charlie and the main nitrogenous excretory product of human is urea as discussed previously as well 39 the route of urine excretion from kidneys to outside the body is kidney to ureter then urinary bladder and ultimately urethra that's a simple pathway kidney ureter urinary bladder urethra and then outward and in dk 2020 it there was a few questions from this portion as well uh, in 2020 paper when the temperature of the surrounding rises body responds by vasodilation to promote heat loss others there are the conditions for heat uh, in, in decreased body surrounding body uh, surrounding temperature and the uh, excretion of hypertonic urine is human is associated best with lupofenle charlie it was question from a federal board textbook exercise and humans the temperature regulation control center is located in brain as an excretory organ liver it detoxifies many chemical poison produces ammonia for excretion and produces urea and uric acid from the nitrogen so amino acids so delta the active uptake of sodium in the ascending limb or cyclopropenle is promoted by the action of a hormone aldosterone so these were some of the questions from past papers i hope so it will help you to prepare for the next exams thank you for listening allah hafiz